conveyor belt of moisture and you'll see that throughout the day today on into the night and into tomorrow as well. Look at all the rain moving on through right on through late day on Monday. Five inches or so of rain in this area and they're continuing to get some very heavy rain here now just north of Monroeville. So they're seeing some flooding issues there. The Monroe County EMA has been tweeting out some of the road closures that they've been experiencing. Now there's two systems. First off, the tropical low. We've been telling you about for days that we have been tracking and watching. It's finally just now getting to the north part of the Yucatan. So it will emerge into the Gulf of Mexico within the next few hours and adding on top of what's already fallen, which is three and a half to five inches of rainfall here between Monroe County and Conecuh counties here today. So they've seen that old pesky coastal fog. You had it today, most likely you'll have it for a good bit of tomorrow as well. So some areas will be in the fog for a good bit. Uh, it is Christmas Eve. I'm going to get this on here real quick. There we go. Good truck standing. You got to have the right headgear. All right. He is now actually, like I said, in the southeast. He is now up and around Virginia, it looks like. Yep, he's flying through Virginia. He's headed towards Williamsburg, Colonial Williamsburg. And so here's how it looks. So tomorrow, 30, 40% chance of rain. Uh, mostly, once again, just light stuff. Nothing like we've had the last couple of days. Saturday, a few showers. In Chickasaw, Marcus Page whipped out his phone when he saw this cloud towering on the horizon. Michael Veerling, also in Chickasaw, caught the same funnel-shaped cloud. At USA Medical Center, J.B. Horton snapped the strange cloud from a high window. And on I-65, the cloud was nearly a traffic stopper. Pictures came in from Lisa Councilman, Eric Booker, Brandon Helton, and Yvonne Ward. In the pictures, this cloud hanging on the horizon looks like a tornado, but it's not. It's called a scud cloud, and it's harmless. Video like this one that came to us from Brad Patterson gives us a better idea what's happening with the scud cloud. If this was a tornado, it would be rotating, but it's not. When you look at the video, you can see the air rising like in a chimney. And that's essentially what a scud cloud is. It's an updraft into what's in this case a fairly weak thunderstorm. Makes for cool pictures, and we always appreciate them. Yeah, thanks, Bob. I, I, we always know that in the springtime, that's the time we can get some severe weather. Uh, but there's a secondary severe weather season as we go through the summer, then into the fall, things spike back up, particularly here in November. And that's because just like we just said, they get some of the similar conditions. You have warm, moist air out here in the Gulf of Mexico. It gets driven on up to the Gulf. Then we'll have a front coming on down with some cold, drier air behind it. Then thunderstorms pop up along that front. A cross section really shows you what's going on. That cold air stays at the surface and drives the warm air up. As it does so, that creates a lot of rising air and instability. And then the thunderstorms storms are created with that rising air. Now the greater the contrast between the cold and the warm, the stronger the storms and two times a year in the spring and the fall is when you get that greatest contrast and the strongest storms of the year. Now of course we have this system on our way. Jason is going to fill you in on all the details and what we expect here for the next couple of days. Jason.